Yo, what is up, Ship Fam? What is up, YouTube? A special uh, daily truck build video today. I uh, received an email last night with a special um, special coupon code from Conbar himself. Uh, I've talked about Conbar before. I use rims. In fact, I have his rims on this very truck. But he has released the Chevy Silverado 3500 HD. Um... Uh, so that means you're going to want to find some hot shot trailers. I'm using the John uh, Ruda uh, hot shot trailers for the purposes of this video. We're going to do some car hauling. Um, so that's what I have been uh, using here. I think we're going to haul some cars from San Diego to Yuma. It's like 150 miles, somewhere in there. Hopefully you guys will join me for the ride. <laughs> Before we get headed down the road, I always like to give you guys an idea of the type of options or customizations you're going to be able to do with this particular truck. I will include uh, Felipe Conbar's um, link in the description. This is, uh, again, this is his uh, Chevy Silverado High Country 3500 uh, Heavy Duty. This has been released with the support of Frank Brazil, Pia Zeno Simulator, and Arrera Studio. So all good company. Uh, and the first thing I'd like to say is this is a really good quality mod. I've d I've used a lot of mods over the years from various modders, and um, you can tell you can tell when there's you know some some poor quality. I've had no uh, optimization issues. I've had no uh, frame rate issues. This thing has been running smooth and solid the entire day. I just got done a four-hour stream over on Twitch where we live streamed with it. Uh, we didn't use the car hauler. Uh, we used the uh, we used John Ruda's um, hot shot flatbed. So with the gooseneck. So uh, a couple different options as far as uh, there's really no difference between these two. Um, in fact, your price doesn't even change. So I don't think. Those are going to be any 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 type of issue. Uh, you do get a couple different style chassis. Some of them are going to sit a lot higher than others. Uh, some are going to be a much uh, narrow as far as uh, length of the vehicle. Um, I don't recommend going up real high with it. Uh, it, it, it it'll do it. It still looks good. It'll do it. Uh, John Ruda's flatbed trailer or gooseneck. I had I had issues with it. The other thing you go, you're going to want to do is make sure you don't have the hitch. If you if it says with hitch, for some reason it wants to connect to this. Uh, so I did it without. So I did, I think I used that. Yeah, I used this. Um, uh, with, uh, with oh, actually, no, I did it with the fifth wheel. So that's what I used. Actually, I went with the one. That looks more shorter. There we go. So that's that's the exact truck that I built. So you have four engine options, uh, four different uh, sizes, the 445, 500, 550, 600 horsepower. I used the 600. I paired that uh, with the uh, six-speed, uh, the gear ratio of 748. Uh, this one, uh, your heavy cargo, you're, you're a little limited. Uh, this does a little, better, little bit better on uneven ground. I think they're both going to tow about the same thing. Um, or, you know, listen, the, the, you don't have an unlimited amount of cargo, uh, depending on whose or, or which gooseneck trailer, uh, that's out there in particular with John Ruda's. I, uh, I, I think there's like six, seven different types of cargo. You're, you're, I don't think your transmission is going to matter much here. Uh, and then your interior options, your main color. If you look, the dash color is going to change there. I think I went with the gray. You want to change some of the wood grain and things like that. That's going to be in your interior option. So you'll be able to change that uh, right there. And then you'll be able to change your um, trim color right there. So uh, with the truck, you actually, when you purchase the truck, you're going to get a file uh, with uh, a few different um, paint schemes. Uh, something like this. I think for the live stream, I used a... That's the one I used. Uh, but for today, we're just going to use the normal 
So what I think you get 10, 11 different types. I think I used, uh, let's see. I think I used that, the dark red metallic. So a few different paint jobs. And then you have the option of you can paint it metallically yourself uh, or just use a single custom color. You have all sorts of bumper options as far as your trim, even your, your mirrors. Uh, you have the option to go um, with the chrome. Actually, the mirror's right there. Uh, chrome mirrors painted. I tend to like the painted um, rear deflector. I think one of the coolest things for me is painting the interior of the box or the exterior. I left it black. However, this thing right here, you have three options for you can do the rack. You can just do like the little roll bars or the little wind deflector. I use none of them because with the gooseneck, I didn't really want it to look like anything was hitting there. So you have, you know, and then obviously if you do uh, have your, you know, rims or, or for me, it's comb bar rims, you can change those as well. Well, lots of cool stuff, man. I'd highly recommend it. Really good quality. I've had no issues at all with any type of frame rate uh, or or any type of anything. Uh, and that's indicative of your it's a quality it's a quality mod. The 154 miles from San Diego to Yuma. Uh, let's get Convar Chevy Silverado 3500 heavy duty. Let's get this thing headed down the road. Once again, for those of you uh, that might have skipped past the beginning, I am using John Ruda's uh, trailer pack for his Dodge Ram 3500. So that comes with his pack. And although I do see a lot of similarities between the Dodge uh, Ram 3500 by Ruda and the Chevy 3500 by Conbar, um, they are two totally separate models. Once we get straightened out here, we'll uh, bring this outside. We'll start taking it, taking a look at it from the exterior. delivered to Yuma. Um, it's just, it's a good pair. Uh, I don't know if Convar has any intentions of bringing out a gooseneck trailer set for this particular truck, but for now, the John Ruda, uh, however, those trailers are going to come with the, the Ram 3500 pack. I don't think you can buy those trailers separately. And I haven't done a ton of research as far as gooseneck and trailers that are available. I've got to believe there's some that are out there. I just haven't spent much time looking for it. I literally have three trucks uh, and they all take the same, the same type of trailers. Uh, I think I have a, like a livestock trailer with a gooseneck. I just don't remember where it came from. It might have came from Mason's. At one time, I bought an older Ford from Mason's Mod Shop. I think it came with that. I'm not 100% sure. 
out of the three, uh, this has got to be up there uh, right now as my favorite. I think the detail has been absolutely fantastic. I love the paint uh, scheme options that come with it. Um, like I said, the only gripe that I, I just wish that I wish the engine was a little bit sounded a little bit beefier. Right now, it, I think it sounds loud because I have turned the engine sound all the way up. With the other sounds, like the turbo and things like that, I've turned all the way down. And I can't get used to not shifting. I didn't want to use I didn't want to use my shifter. Um, you're not going to shift all that much. You're not driving a you know you're not, you're not shifting through. 18 different years, so I just kind of kept it unplugged. We're coming into Yuma now. Let's get one look from the exterior. Get one more look at the front of this truck. I think, and again, it might be Conbar's truck, but I think all the rims that I looked at last night, um, Every single one of them looks good. They're uh, 32 inch rims uh, on this uh, Chevy 3500. Three miles to go. I'm guessing we're gonna have to start getting in the other lane here. for the shifter though. we're going to a car dealership something tells me we're not this game's been doing this a lot to me lately uh i think again i think it's you know when you have those weird trailers that i have you know for example i had pinga's kozad low boy and it had me bringing you know uh a volvo dump truck to you know dollar general There's Tesla. Maybe we're going to Tesla. I don't think so. We just drove by it. These definitely don't look like Teslas. Especially that little, that middle one. Ah, uh, well, it looks just like it's a normal ship, shipping yard. Hey, there you have it. Uh, from San Diego to Yuma uh, with the brand new Chevy Silverado High Country 35 HD from Conbar. Uh, we did use the John Ruda uh, Dodge Ram gooseneck trailers that come with uh, his um, hot shot uh, package. But it's, uh, it's well worth it. Uh, very affordable. I think it's $20 on Convart's website. Head on over there. Check it out. I'll leave the links uh, to both the trailers. Uh, Convart's website, which is I also use his rims, so you'll be able to check out those while you're there. I'll leave the link to John Ruda's uh, website as well. That's where I got the trailers. Now that's going to come with his Ram 3500 pack. Uh, it doesn't sell them separately. But I'm sure if you did some research, there's some gooseneck trailers out there that you can use. So if you found this to be entertaining or educational in any way, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join us on our journey to our first 1,000 subscribers over here on YouTube. These uploaded videos are something that's very new to us, uh, but we are experimenting though with those. I'm more of a live streamer, to be completely honest. I'll leave the link to uh, both of those websites as well. 
uh, or both of those platforms. So you can always catch a live stream on Twitch. Every morning is an ATS live stream. I build a new truck every day, and that's where these videos come from. Every day, whatever truck it is, I show it off, make one delivery, short 150 delivery, 150 mile delivery on YouTube. Uh, and then I share a bunch of links where you guys can find all the mods that I might be using for that particular day. So, so yeah, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join us, and I'll see y'all in the next time. Much love, everybody. Until then, be safe, look after one another, and be kind to yourself. You deserve it. Much love, everybody. Peace. <laughs>